Hi y'all YouTubers I know y'all can't see me in this video I don't know what's going on with the video um app I had downloaded or whatever but it's me with my honest reaction on Ash pranking so I think she's just I don't know. I really don't know. Let's get into the video. Hey YouTube, it's Ashley back again with another prank for you guys. Uh, so it's, let me go into something really quick. Dude, it's Monday and Halloween is on Wednesday and I completely missed all of the weekend festivities. So. For y'all who don't really celebrate Halloween, when Halloween rolls around during the week, you know they have everything either the weekend before or the weekend after, depending on the town you live in. Like our town is having a pumpkin fest the day of Halloween. I'm surprised because they usually do the pumpkin fest like the weekend before, but I guess they want to actually get the kids in the idea of celebrating Halloween on Halloween because usually if a Halloween roll around either on a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday through Thursday, they usually get them festivities out the way so they can go ahead and go roll around on in the Christmas because they even stores and different places are either even putting up Christmas stuff. So, I mean, they really trying to push these holidays. So, I can understand where you get busy and just don't have the time to go out for Halloween because she loves Halloween. She done decorated her and so. Well, I ain't gonna say her and so. Well, she is staying with soul for the moment till she, I guess, decide whether she really want to stay in San Diego or move to think in Atlanta and he wants to move to LA or Miami I don't know I don't get it I mean if they do both move to California they probably can still have something popping out but with him no no all year round for this and then even do shit so hopefully i do something for youtube for halloween i guess i'll try to do that but anyways um today i wanted to do a hickey prank on so because i'm not really sure y'all see her halloween nails nails don't especially those type of nails they don't look good on everybody i guess it matches her halloween tattoos and Stuff. Where we stand, honestly, either. I know a lot of people ask me, and it's like, shit. Shit. I know he's faithful. Shit, I know that much, you know. But but I don't know if he really gives a shit, because right now... If y'all broke up, and you tell me that he's being faithful, just because he's not dating nobody else, why you still hanging around, doesn't mean he's faithful to you. Y'all not in no relationship. You didn't let the world know you single. He didn't tell people your contract has ended. So who he being faithful to? If you're saying, well, he knows that me and him still cool and he's not having no other female around, then that, that don't make him faithful. That don't make him faithful. Now we're both planning on moving to different states. Like we're not going to be staying. So it's, I don't know. It's weird. He's real apathetic and I don't really. Yeah. Anyways. So I'm kind of interested to see honestly, like how he'll react. Um, I'm not a makeup artist. So I came to Sephora. It's actually a Sephora inside JC Penny. So I'm going to go ahead and let them do my hickey for me. I also do need to get concealer. So I actually needed to come, but yeah, I, I didn't want to do the hickey myself because I didn't want it to look dumb or Y'all, instead of going to the drugstore to get concealer, she go way to Sephora. 
So far, it's expensive. Somebody else had reacted, uh, flight reaction. He reacted on their video, and he said that she's a very high, high maintenance type of girl because she wants all these high maintenance things. What other job she got besides YouTube? She'll never talk about no job. No job. And if all you're doing is YouTubing, you don't have the Buku subscribers to be. She do have a lot of subscribers because of so. And a lot of his subscribers probably subscribe to her. But a lot of times when she's doing her video, she's boring. That's why I'd rather watch her do a prank or do something with Soul. Because Soul Luminati is, he makes things more, how I say, he's more cartoonish. He's more, he has more personality. She seems like a dingy dong. It's gashy if you ever watch this. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but sometimes you come off like you just have a loose screw and you need to sit down with somebody and they need to help you because baby doll if a man breaks up with me i'm not gonna be hanging around him i don't care how much i thought i was in love y'all wasn't even together long enough to be in love in love when you finally in really in love with somebody and that person is really in love with you you know it honey you ain't got the fight for it you you might have to fight for it a little bit, but it's going to be different. You have to fight no female for him. You will never have to put yourself on the back burner and put him on the floor. So you will never have to do pranks like this in order to get his attention. But let's get back to the video. Fake, like I want it to really look like a hickey so that he'll believe it. Like I said, I don't know if he'll give a shit because he's super apathetic. But shit. Um, I'm actually in his car right now. He let me take his car. I told him I was just going to my best friend Ayeli. And that's another thing <laughs> I learned about men. Men are not gonna let you hold that car unless there's some. It's something there. It's some. It's got to be something there for him to let you hold your car. Their car. I, I done had some men too, and the ones that had cars ain't letting me drive that car. They might say, oh, you could drive my car, but then when it came time to drive that car, they wouldn't, we wouldn't jump in their car to drive it. Shoot. We had to catch a ride or whatever we had to do to get where we needed to go. It wasn't, it wasn't no, it would drive my car. It wasn't, mm -mm, it wasn't, especially you got your own car. You talking about going to your home girl house? It's something there more than what he telling. That's why he tell, I, that's why somebody commented and said he told IG they were still together. Now, I was watching something earlier. I was watching something earlier and she was right there. I mean, like, right there. I mean, she's just there. She wants to hang around. She wants to be there. She said that she came back to be his cameraman but what videos are he doing? All he doing is streaming. He's streaming. He's not really doing any other videos besides streaming. Other than he doing reaction videos. And he don't need her for that neither. So. House. Which I do a lot. So it's pretty believable. So. Yeah. I guess we'll see what happens. Because I mean I have my own car out here. But his car is better than mine. So. Yeah. That would be hella disrespectful if real life I came back with a hickey and I took his fucking whip. That's insult to injury. But anyways, I'm a, let me go in here. I'll vlog a little bit so you can see them putting the makeup on me and shit. All right. See, this car is so much better than mine. I have a Mercedes, but it's it's a it's just a C250 and it's like a 2012. So the next car I want, I definitely want to be a Challenger, but I'm going to get probably like all black and get some subs and shit. Um, but yeah, hopefully they're, I assume to work at any Sephora, you have to be good at makeup, even if it's in a JCPenney, so, uh, we'll see how good they are at doing hickeys. Okay, the Sephora's right here, thank the Lord. Because sometimes these stores are really huge and, uh, I hate looking for the, anyways. Hi. I actually need to help. Um, well, I'm vlogging for Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I show him your spider? Sure. That's so cute. We're having spider day, so 
it's Halloween week. <laughs> I'm going to try to do that, but I doubt it'll look that good. But anyways, um, so I'm actually doing like a, a prank on my boyfriend for YouTube. Okay. Like a hickey prank. Mm -hmm. But I figured I'd come to a Sephora. I didn't know this one was inside of JCPenney, but like, usually in the regular Sephora, they like help you with makeup and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do need a concealer, but I was wondering if you could actually like put a hickey kind of on Y'all notice she had to correct, correct herself saying he's not her boyfriend. She still want him to be her man so bad. It just don't make no sense. You can, I mean, I wonder what being in a marriage with her was like. Soon as that man started showing her he didn't want her, she probably was, my husband, my husband, my husband. Was she telling them you said, yeah, I, I Listen to her story about her husband. She said her husband was right in the next room having sex with other women. They were sleeping in separate rooms, and he would bring women home and sleep with them. What was you telling them women when, when you woke up the next morning and they leaving your house? Thanks for, thanks for sleeping with my husband. I mean, I, you got to make it known that this man was your boyfriend. So, so I know you made it known that man was your husband until the day y'all done got a done divorce. Got a divorce. I mean, it just don't make no sense how much she gets stuck on a man. I mean, you must have been stuck on your husband. You stayed until he, you stayed after he started disrespecting you. That's one thing I ain't going to do. If I know for a fact he cheating, I'm gone. He ain't got to ask me to go. We ain't got to sign no divorce papers. I'm gone. When he find out where I'm at, he going to be like, well, why you left? What I need to stick around for? What I'm washing the dishes and washing your drawers and cooking and playing this little good little wife. And you don't want what I want. Because you don't want me and I want you, but you don't want the us. So you don't want what I want. I want the us and he don't. So I'm, I, would, I would leave. Ain't no way I'm sticking around. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It ain't like she no ugly, ugly girl. But without all that makeup, she ain't the prettiest thing either. But, I mean, she a decent enough girl that she could get better men than what she picking. She picking men who literally telling you from the get-go. I mean, so so did anyway. He told her from the get-go he was not going to be faithful. But then he turned around and said, well, I'm going to be faithful for you. And she's saying that he's, even though they broke up, he still haven't got with another woman. When have you ever heard, since he been YouTubing, when have his fans, for the people who his loyal fans, when have y'all heard him talk about being in a serious relationship besides her? Most time he always react on other people's videos. And if a female bring his name up, it's always, she really likes me. She likes me. So when you get a woman that really head over heels on for you from day one, you really, you really not cool with that. He really don't want that. He didn't want that. He just wanted to go along. With what the subscribers wanted. But then he going to say he didn't want a long distance relationship. How many times you were saying you was moving to L.A.? San Diego and L.A. They're a good little distance. They ain't that damn far y'all can't drive to each other. I mean, goddamn. She can't come to your house? You can't go to her? I drive an hour to see a man sometime. I mean, we live an hour away. I do what I got to do. I mean, but <laughs> she doing it now. Why she can't do it then? Oh, her contract really over when he, you, she makes that decision to go to stay in San Diego for good. Really? We probably still going to see this girl hanging around a year from now. Because he letting her. Because ain't no other female wants to hang around him. Who wants to hang around him? He's young. I, I'm, I'm a little older than these YouTubers. That's why I told y'all. I won't be reacting on all these YouTubers like that. But these, this YouTuber right here, I just want to put a letter out to her. I just want to make a letter out 
to this one right here. Girl, get your life. You done been married. Stop putting yourself in the settle down mode. Grind, grind, grind. Hard, hard, hard. This video should have been on your channel. Not his. It should have been on your channel. All you doing is making him extra money because now they saying so Illuminati. I, I prank, hickey prank on so Illuminati. So it's on his channel. No, it should have been on your channel. Or either y'all posted it on both of y'all channels. Like you re-edited it so it can have his intro. You, you edited it so it can have your intro. So, I mean, y'all both could have got, you know, got a little bread off the um, video. But my main thing for saying is she's setting herself up for failure because she getting deeper and deeper into a man that's not... Who's trying to push her away? But he said he feels. I guess he feels some type of way because now she had to give up her apartment, and she got nowhere else to go but his house if she wants to be in Arizona until he's there. And she hasn't fully made up her mind whether she really wants to be in San Diego. And that was supposed to be the reason why he broke up with her because she decided not to move to. LA and moved to San Diego but she said she had already lived in San Diego but they'll they'll get they'll they'll figure it out they'll get it together I, I believe that she realized that it's better fishing to see instead of jumping on the first thing that come along at Sephora they like if you know nothing about makeup which I did it like a year ago. They can color match you. They can show you how to do your eyebrows, how to contour, all that shit. So, yeah, come and visit us. Yeah, if you're a girl and watching this and want to learn how to do your makeup. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, as dark as that hickey is, don't that look obvious it's fake? Really? They could have made it a little, just a tad little lighter. So that it can really look like somebody actually put a bruise on you. Because that's all that hickey is. Look at Laura right here. Yeah, and you can make it um, like twice the size. Yeah. See? Oh my god, that's so believable. So I'm just gonna put the camera in the closet and shit. 
um, and I'll just kind of try to be around him so he sees, you feel me, like, and you guys can get his reaction, so, up here, because he's fucking tall as shit, I'm 5'1", and he's 6'6", so, that makes it kind of difficult, but I'll get it for y'all nonetheless. Y'all, y'all know. <laughs> y'all know. That these YouTubers make it seem like they don't see these big ass cameras sitting around. They see these big ass cameras. They just be thinking that, that, that somebody just wouldn't be pranking them at that moment. Or they just don't notice that the camera's on. They see them big ass cameras. They just don't notice it on. And once... And once... Once they see it, they might just, like, overlook it. I ain't no way you gonna tell me that you don't see a big-ass camera. Cause even a, a small camera, I probably would notice it. I'd probably be like, well, you know, depending on whether you can see a light flashing or not. Cause a lot of cameras have light flashing when they record. And that light flashing, and them big-ass cameras, a lot of them do have the light that flash and let you know that camera's on. So when you're recording yourself, you know, you know for a fact that camera's on. So you don't see that. You don't see all that. Unless you see the camera there, you just don't pay no attention. You think, oh, it ain't on. She just set the camera right there. And what I can't stand, because I, I, I done had a man that was 6'5". And I can't stand it when they put regular size dude, average size dude pants on, and then try to sag them to make them seem like they longest. And that's what he seemed like he did. He put them pants on and realized that they weren't as long as he needed them, so he sagged them. And eventually, like, pants like that, they're going to start to fall because... You probably done warm a couple of times and stretched out that elastic in it a little bit for wearing it down below your waist. And it just, it always looked it crazy to me. I'm like, why you just can't go to the big and tall store and buy you some pants that fit you? But I know they have joggers in there that fit you. Why is this not shop? I mean, I know you want name brand stuff, so that's probably why, but... Go online where you can custom order your stuff or something. I mean, I know they got name brand stuff you can custom order to fit your tall ass. I mean, but you want to go to the store and buy that average dude stuff and you know you ain't 5'5 five five and you ain't 5'6 or 5'7, one of these little short dudes. You 6'6. Six Six foot five, six foot six, six foot seven, tall ass dude who cannot wear average size dude stuff. Even a five foot ten nigga, you can, you don't need to be wearing stuff that he will. Because a lot of time they're not gonna have no thirty four, no thirty four, forty two. It, it don't make no sense. They might have a 42-34, but they're not going to have a 34-42 or a 34-52. It, 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 that's why you have to get your stuff custom for you. Who the fuck likes doing that? Bro, what type of cringe 
Gucci shit do you be watching, man? <laughs> You took all fucking day with my car. I was just. That's one of the main reasons why I was kind of skeptical about letting people drive my shit because they never come back on time with my shit. Where are you going, anyways? Nowhere. I thought we was about to go out. You're not even ready. I'm getting dressed right now. Exactly. So you're barely getting dressed. What the fuck is that on your neck? What is what? What is that on your neck? Come here. I didn't, I don't even know if I had anything on my neck. Let me look. Oh so, my god, bro. This fucking bitch. Okay, I, I didn't want to tell you, but... No, so it's not... It's, I know what it looks like. But, like, I basically got in a... Come here, hold on. Come here. Let me fucking tell you. I got in a fight before I went to Nyla's house, but I didn't want to tell you because... I didn't want to start the video, but why he shut that though? Why he pinning her up in that closet? Why? Just like why? They was uh, you could tell it's a bathroom on the other side. Like why? Why? Bro, listen, I just reacted to a video of a nigga putting his hands on his girl. His name was Squeaker. I'm telling you right now, Ash. It's not a fucking hickey, so this girl literally before I went to Nyla's house, I was at the store and she literally grabbed my neck like from behind, like on some on-site So shit. while she grabs your neck, a nigga came and sucked on your neck while you was fighting. It's, no, it had nothing to do with any nigga. Like I didn't even know I had anything on my neck. So why the fuck you just didn't walk in talking about fighting? You walk in talking about what video? I didn't want to tell you. Like why would I tell you that? Why wouldn't you tell me? What type of shit is that? That's not no. F Bro, listen. Bro, I'm telling you right now. Ash, I would end you right now, bro. I, I, I swear to God, everything I done. And you have my fucking car, bro. You have my car? It's not you a hickey. You gotta go in your room? It's not a hickey, so. Let me see. You can, you can call Nia. We could call Nayeli right now. Like, she knows because I told her, like, when I went to her house. Bro, I know what a fucking hickey is, bro. I didn't gave hickeys. I know what a hickey is, bro. It's not a hickey. I promise. Why is it not? Well, because it's a fucking bruise. I just told you. This dumbass bitch didn't even, like, she just literally, like, grabbed me from the neck and tried to, like, put me down. But then I, like, hit her. And then she's like, I wasn't even, I didn't even know who the fuck the bitch was. Like, I swear it was so. It's not, it's not a hickey. I didn't even know I had anything right now.
Well, y'all, that's the end of that. That's the end of that. He making it sound like they're going to just be at it doing pranks when he clearly kept saying he didn't want to do pranks. Clearly, they do pranks. But looking at that um clown on her chest, that thing is scary, bro. She better not ever have no children, and they had to look at that. They'll be scared out of their daggone mind. A baby, she's standing over baby with that scary behind tattoo. 